Today is a really exciting day for me. In fact, it even marks a milestone in my Nintendo game reviewing career. Because I get to announce 10 Nintendo Switch games getting physical releases thanks to Super Rare Games. Games that I've reviewed on the channel before, games that I absolutely adore, unique and amazing gaming experiences that before were only available digitally, finally, we get to actually buy and put in our collections. And if all of that already wasn't enough of a dream come true for me, one of the games on this list actually isn't even on the eShop yet, and it hasn't even been announced to be on Nintendo Switch yet. I, for the first time, not only get to announce its physical release, but I also get to announce that it's even coming to the Switch in the first place. Super Rare is an awesome company that already took two of my favorite eShop games and gave them physical releases, Flame in the Flood and Human Full Flat. But they also offer special things with the releases of the games like vinyl soundtracks or trading cards. And as I said, today, right now, I'm announcing 10 more of these. So before we get started announcing these games, make sure to click that link in the description and go to their website, see what they already have available, bookmark it for later, because the games you're about to hear are on the way. The first game I'm announcing today is Mutant Muds. And the Mutant Muds collection is actually three games in one, which contains Mutant Muds Deluxe, Mutant Muds Super Challenge, and Mud Box. Mutant Muds was actually on the 3DS before the Nintendo Switch eShop. And now, of course, we're finding ourselves with a physical release of this collection next month in August. This game is extremely fun. The graphical style is very reminiscent to old Super Nintendo platformers, and the character models overall have this charm that just reminds me of Earthbound. As you traverse the world in this game, you can phase in and out of the background, allowing you to platform on two different levels at all times. And that is a fantastic concept. Being a retro gamer and being used to parallax scrolling backgrounds in my video games, that retro gamer side of me had his mind blown. I could imagine doing that as a kid and just being like, what? The controls in this game are super tight and just flat out fun to play. Mutant Mud Super Challenge is just that. It's like the original game, but way, way harder. And Mud Blocks is a puzzle game that you can play multiplayer as well. It's actually a fun little puzzle game and a nice break from the intensity that is Super Challenge if you decide to try giving that a shot. I can't wait to add Mutant Muds to my collection and again, it's available next month in August. Have you ever wanted someone to give you worms? No, probably not because that sounds gross, but Super Rare Games is giving us worms. That doesn't sound any less gross, but yes, I'm excited to get worms. Holy moly, I've been playing and loving Worms games for as long as I can remember, and Worms WMD is one of the best yet. It has that classic Worms gameplay kicked up another notch with some fantastic visuals to go along. It's everything you remember, from charging up that rocket shot and blasting that enemy, to ordering nuke strikes and even strapping on that headband and karate punching other worms into oblivion. It was always my favorite when I was younger. It never worked out the way I wanted, but I loved it. On top of all of that, you also have a load of new abilities too, like being able to craft weapons on the fly and even vehicles. This is a friendship ending game. On top of that old school battle royale worms mode that we all know and love, there is loads of challenges and campaign missions to complete. So there is plenty of reasons to play on your own as well as with friends or family. This is my favorite at Worms game yet, and I seriously mean that. I'm excited to pick this up from Super Rare. Next up, we have a game called Knights of Pen and Paper. Knights of Pen and Paper is a fantasy style RPG, kind of like Dungeons and Dragons. In fact, the start of the game is with the dungeon master creating your own players and adventure. And very interestingly, as you play this D&D adventure, you stay at the table with your dungeon master, just as you would if you were playing D&D in real life, with the world around around you changing and transforming into the adventure you are setting out on. Even partaking in the turn-based battles as you're sat at the table. It's a really cute spin on the classic D&D adventure and even has little fourth wall breaking moments when some players need to excuse themselves from the table so they can go and pee. 
Also, that's definitely Mr. Krabs from SpongeBob, so this game earns extra brownie points from me. This game is very easy to pick up and play, and it's just charming in every way. Okay, guys, are you ready? This is my moment. This is my time to shine. This next game is the one that isn't on the eShop yet, and I get to announce is coming to the Switch, both digitally and physically, thanks to Super Rare Games. And that game is, well, I hope you enjoyed Knights of Pen and Paper 1, because it's Knights of Pen and Paper 2, y'all! <laughs> I'm way too excited for all of this, yes! Knights of Pen and Paper 2 not only is getting that digital release on the eShop, but it's also getting a physical release from Super Rare, and Super Rare are making it a separate release from the first game, so we'll have two shiny cases on our shelves. In the sequel to Knights of Pen and Paper, we see improved graphics, new races such as Dwarf and Elf, and big improvements to the gameplay and story, with it being a more streamlined experience. And a huge thank you to the developer of the game too, for letting me announce that in my video, because they had to give me the go-ahead as well. It wasn't just Super Rare saying, sure, you can announce their game. Our next game is a game that's actually four games in one pack. Faerun Collection. First up, we have the first Faerun, which is a retro-style puzzle action labyrinth RPG. It'll take you on an adorable adventure that will remind you of the old Zelda titles. Faerun emulates the look and feel of a classic 80s game, and it has a combat system that will remind you a lot of the earlier Yeez games, where by walking through the creatures and enemies, if the creature is the same level as you, the creature will die, and you will take damage, receiving experience points and leveling up. Which I I really like the simplicity of that battle system. And Faerun 2 is an even bigger adventure with more puzzles, more items, and more tests to conquer. Then we go back to the start of the adventure in Faerun Origins, similar to the newer two games but with a different feel. And the final game is Faerun Blast, which strangely but awesomely is a scrolling shoot 'em up game which is actually pretty great. In my opinion, the best game on this collection is Faerun 2 for sure, and if you're looking for a decent amount of retro inspired bang for your buck, look no further than the Faerun collection. I love the next game and getting this physical is going to be awesome. Steridon and binary stars. This really hard roguelike shoot 'em up 2D side scrolling, mind destroying, pixel art generating, at times bullet hellish, Joy Con angering, breaking game. Jared and Binary Stars is getting a physical release thanks to Super Rare. I actually did that first take. I was reading from a prompt, but usually I don't manage to get through things like that in the first take, so I'm leaving that one as it is. This game may as well be the space sequel to Enter the Gungeon for many reasons, and one certainly being the huge array of crazy and unique weapons you can find and power up your ship with. You also get to pick your ship at the start of each game, with each ship having different abilities. That really helps make the short playthroughs in between deaths feel fresh. And I actually really like this combination of a shoot 'em up game and a roguelike game. I typically do enjoy shoot 'em up games, but I feel they get old fast as it's usually exactly the same game with enemies in the same spots when you start over. But not in Steridon. With every swift death comes a whole new arrangement of enemies and new ways to die with an awesome boss fight at the end, if you can make it that far. For everything this game has going on, it still feels very simplistic, which is nice. It truly reminds me of old school, brutally hard NES and SNES games, but with a lot more depth. Another game that's gonna look awesome on the shelf. Next, we have N++ Ultimate Edition. Back when this game was first released, I never really understood the appeal of the game just by looking at it, but then I played it and then I understood the appeal of this game. N++ is one of the most basic, plain Jane looking games you'll ever see. It reminds me of freaking Line Rider, which I used to take to school on a USB drive and stick it into the computer during English lessons and play that instead of learning English. That explains a lot, doesn't it, everybody? Stay in school, kids. Don't play games instead of learning English. But it reminds me of that because it looks just so basic, but that's the point. The highlight here is on the super fun and fast-paced gameplay and people Love it. You play as a ninja in this very, very difficult platformer. It will remind you of something like Super Meat Boy. You will be wall bouncing, ragdolling, and score attacking in this very beautiful game. And by beautiful, I of course mean on the inside. As the gameplay and the core of this game has that chance to shine so brightly in contrast to the way it looks. And if you want to experience four player co op chaos, you can do that in N. I've been told. I don't have friends.
This physical release of the game is the ultimate edition which brings you revamped graphics, new levels and a new hardcore mode and even brand new colors. The next eShop game getting a physical release is one that I reviewed and loved recently, Adventure Pals. It's a very cartoony adventure platforming game that might remind you of the cartoon Adventure Time for more than one reason. And sure, this game may be quirky, it may be goofy, and at times it may be very strange, but it's absolutely an enjoyable video game. Your aim in this game is to stop old people from turning into hot dogs. Personally, I prefer to have the hot dogs. Also, there's more to the story than just that, but I won't ruin it. But trust me, this entire game is just as crazy and wacky. The game starts kinda easy, but gets increasingly more difficult as you play and actually gets a lot harder than you might expect. Also, a nice bonus is as you level up, you get a lot of customization as you unlock skills, which is something you don't usually see in a game of this style, but it fits really well and it helps make the game feel fresh as you play. This game has a huge array of enemies and a load of humor to be found along the way. So you know how Nintendo likes to do their E3 presentations, their treehouse presentations, and typically they'll just tell you about a bunch of games, and there's always that one or two that they're like, oh, by the way, this one's available right now. Go download it, go play it. Well, I actually get to do one of those because this next game, Lovers in a Dangerous Space Time, is available right now on Super Rare's website. So if this game is for you, click that link in the description, go to Super Rare's website and buy it today. But what is the game? Let me tell you about it. This game is extremely unique. While on the surface this vibrantly colored game may look simple, it's actually the co-op that sets this game apart. You and three other friends I really need to get some friends, man. You all take control of a single character inside this spaceship. Each character can move around and control different parts of the ship. For example, one person may be controlling the thrusters while another is blasting away at enemies, and then another is moving around the shield to make sure you are protected. This takes a load of teamwork, not unlike commanding a ship in Sea of Thieves. And even when you play alone, the AI does a really good job at helping you out. So it's fun to play either way, but obviously the most fun here comes from playing with friends. The chaos between everyone trying to work together while killing enemies and making your way through the levels will lead to a lot of frustration and hopefully a lot of laughs. So if you've played this game before and you enjoy it or you like the look of it, you can add it to your physical Switch collection right now. So every game I talked about today will be $35 and they'll include a trading card pack and a sticker which is unique to each game. And remember that every release is limited to between 3,000 and 5,000 copies. So if you want to grab one before they sell out, you gotta keep an eye on the website and do things like follow them on Twitter. And I think once you buy one of the games, you go into an emailing list that'll keep you updated. Whichever way you want to do it, keep your eye on it so you don't miss out, especially if you're going for the complete collection. So once again, thanks to Super Red Games for giving me this opportunity today to do all of this. I had a lot of fun and I hope you guys did too. If you did, subscribe because I make videos like this all the time and you don't want to miss out. Maybe even click here, check out my eShop reviews and then let Super know what game they should make physical next. Believe me, I have some suggestions. And with that, I'm sweaty, I'm thirsty, I shouldn't have wore a long sleeve, and I'm out of here. Subscribe. <laughs>